Hello friends, welcome back to The Mothership. Today we're doing a spatchcock chicken with a white Alabama sauce. Let's get started. In general, why would you spatchcock a chicken? I like a beer can chicken better on the smoker, but sometimes, specifically on a weeknight, I just want things to go really quickly, and that's where spatchcocking comes in. Once you break the backbone and smash it down flat, you have much more surface area, and it'll cook a lot faster. So for those weeknights, and you really want to do a whole chicken, this is your best bet. Some people like the presentation, I don't care. I'm all about the quality of the food. So a wet brine and then a spatchcock, you can get a meal out significantly faster than if you were doing it in a beer can. Let's get started, guys. Spatchcocking is really not rocket science. What we're gonna do here is just cut along the backbone like so, and then smash it down. Now what we need is a good set of kitchen shears, just like these, and we're just gonna start cutting along one side of the bone. Now, some people like to take the whole thing out. You don't really have to do that. Um, I'm going to take the whole thing out. I think it makes it a little bit easier, but we're just gonna cook along here. And if you are doing a turkey, this is actually the exact same thing. As you can see, this is the bone right here. I'm just gonna take that whole thing out and uh, move on to the next step. Now you can keep this, you can throw it away. I'm probably gonna keep it and use it for stock. But what we're going to do now is we're kind of going to open it up a little bit, turn our chicken over, kind of lay it out just how we want. And then what we're going to do is just push down in the middle until we hear a crunch. As you can see, our chicken is much flatter. This is going to allow it to cook much more evenly since you have a lot more surface area across the chicken. Our wet brine is pretty easy. We're just going to go in with our water go in with our salt, mix it together, go in with our brown sugar, and then we're just gonna take a garlic clove and toss it in there. And if you couldn't tell guys, I'm dubbing this over because I lost all of my audio. Basically, we're just gonna throw our chicken in here, breast side down, put it in the fridge overnight, and then when I come home from work tomorrow, I'm going to get this up and throw it on. It's the next day, I'm home from work, I've taken the chicken out and completely rinsed off all of the wet brine. I'm now just gonna put a quick dry rub on here of just black pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of paprika. Then we're gonna throw it onto the pellet smoker. When we're waiting for it to uh, get to about 150 degrees, I'm gonna make our white Alabama sauce. Let's just throw a quick coating on here. Our smoker is now up to temp at 275 degrees. As you can see, I have our chicken on the bottom rack. I'm gonna smoke this sucker till about 150 degrees internal temperature. Then I'm gonna bump the temperature up to 350. And at that point, I'll probably start lathering it down with our sauce. My goal is 165, 170 at that point. Um, I'm anticipating this, this section to take about 45 minutes and then the final 350, maybe another 15 to 20 minutes. At that point, we're gonna take it off, let it rest, and then we're gonna do one last drench before we eat the bird. Let's let this chicken do its thing. For our Alabama white sauce, we're gonna go in with our mayonnaise. We're gonna go in with our apple cider vinegar. We're going to go in with our dry spices. And we're gonna go in with our mustard and Worcestershire sauce. And if you couldn't tell by now, I can't pronounce that. And we're just gonna whisk it all together. This is a, one of those personal preference things. You can start with this recipe if you've never done this before and then add spices to your liking. Uh, this is one that I like, but a lot of people have their own preferences. Maybe more spice, hot sauce is a good choice here. Different kinds of mustard, more mayonnaise versus vinegar. Your mileage may vary, but we're ready. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this as a little bit of basting, but mostly we're gonna lather it on at the very end. Our chicken is probing around 120 all over. Um, I figured I'd mention, I usually like to put butter onto my birds, but I don't think the butter will go well with the Alabama sauce. So I actually have some olive oil cooking spray. So I'm just gonna give it a little spray down. I, hope, I think that might help crisp up the skin a little bit. Uh, as far as pellets, today I'm going with the Lumberjack Competition Blend. We'll see how these work on a bird. Temperature in here has hit 150 degrees. So I've bumped the smoker up to 350. Now I'm gonna give this a nice coating of our Alabama white. I am still going to do a dredge once we're done. 
but I want to start getting some of this acidity into the meat as it finishes up cooking. As always, the goal here is 165 in the fattest part of the chicken. A little longer is not going to hurt you. We have these wet brine, remember. And there's a lot of dark meat, so we should be okay. There we go. Our little gobbler has rested. Now I'm just going to give it a little bath in our sauce. There's probably a bigger bowl would work better on this, but you know what? I'm not a smart man. So we're just gonna get it all nice and covered. This is a messy meal, guys. This is the way it's supposed to be. Oh my goodness, it's so messy, but it looks so good. The smell is absolutely incredible. And this chicken, I mean, the proof is in the pudding, guys, is literally just falling apart. It's time for the good old fashioned, oh my goodness, this chicken wing. Ooh. Time for the good old fashioned taste test. Let's give it a chomp. Wow. This Alabama sauce is so good. I'm sure everybody has their own variation on this. More hot sauce, more salt, more pepper, whatever. This is the way I like to do it. Feel free to make your own changes to this sauce. This chicken is seriously falling apart, guys. It's perfect. I just pulled the leg off. Very easy. Perfectly cooked. It's delicious. We're going to really enjoy this white sauce on this chicken. If you guys enjoyed this, you know what to do. Hit that like button down below comment. Tell me how do you do your chicken. I'm looking for new recipes. Give me something I should be interested in trying out. I'm really enjoying putting these videos together for you guys. Cook something fantastic this weekend, guys. Take it easy.